What's up everybody, DD Creations here, and this is going to be sharing my thoughts number 48, and I like to call this my legacy. Alright, so before I get started in this video, um, I just want to say this is going to be like a three-parter, I'm not saying like, you know, three separate videos, as in three videos going to be uploaded, no, it's just going to be three videos where um, I'm going to talk about the first one would be what I want to learn in this world, the second part is going to be uh, what I want to give back to the community, and then lastly is going to be what do I want to be known as when I die. So, on to the first one. Alright, so as you guys may know, uh, you know, from the title, um, what I want to learn in this world. So, the first thing that I want to learn is basically like human behavior. It's like why they act this way towards others, and you know, all these other stuff. It's like, what's the reason behind that? We can assume like anything or first impression towards anyone, but this is something that I do want to learn because that as a psychology counselor. You know, just based for alone relationships. I want to learn like, why are there couples that fight, this and that, and you know, at least to break up and everything else. And that's something that I definitely do want to learn, and also to learn based on, you know, people's situation in this life. And there are most times that there are not good ones making bad choices and all that stuff. And I know it was I think it was last year is where I did this uh, one program talking about. Uh, suicide like what should this person do and all that stuff i got like three certificates out of those so you know it's just based on i'm gonna put it based on common sense so that's gonna be one of them and uh, second one's gonna be uh being a really good video editor and what i mean by that is where you know i want to take it to the next level I'm using Movie Maker, which is pretty basic and easy when you get used to it, and then you can work your way up. And I don't want to use Movie Maker anymore. I do want to try a new program and try to, you know, be really good from there. And people are saying like the the best one is from using iMac. The how do I put it? I forgot the name of what it's called, but there's a program that they have is similar. Well. It's similar like Movie Maker, but it's more advanced. It's like the professional Hollywood status type program that people need to use. And I saw like how it is, and you know all the stuff that's added on there. It's like, man, I do want to get that, but the problem is, you know, I don't have money for it. It's pretty expensive. So the third one is gonna be as a a disc jockey. I looked up to my dad when does DJing and I'm like you know I enjoy doing that just like playing music and all that stuff but when there's you know but what he does is putting you know a CD in and then let the song play and then for several minutes and then put on the next CD but the thing is that in this world we have turntables we can use our iPods and mix songs from there and all that stuff and I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about where you just make beat making and all that stuff uh, it's something that's it's okay for me but it's like I would much rather prefer DJing at parties clubs and all that stuff and it's definitely that I want to do and in the future maybe I'll own my own nightclub and it'll be really popular I can't say where but I've been dreaming that for so long to the point it's like this is something I want to do I want to make that happen it's like if you wait till the next day it's not gonna happen so might as well just do it now right um, and I do have like business cards for besides networking and all that stuff. I do have another business card as a wingman to help out other people. This is how do you talk to a girl, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it works for, you know, a, there's such thing as a wing woman to help people. But, you know, maybe there is. Maybe you can make that happen. Hopefully if there are people out there that are interested, just let me know. Um, and then lastly should be, huh. 
I forgot the last one, but I think, in a way, I feel like that's definitely all that I can think of at the moment right now. Oh, never mind. Uh, I do want to be popular on YouTube, but people say popularity has its consequences. But the things that I do want to be well known, I do want to be that YouTuber where, you know, there are fans out there that looks up to me and wants to meet me, do a meet and greet and all that stuff. I would love to see that. I would love to be invited to all these events that YouTubers go to. But the thing is that I'm doing my research trying to figure out like there are people saying like don't don't sign up with YouTube because of this, because of that, blah, blah blah. It's like I do my research with things that I'm swamped with like, you know, gotta edit videos and then, you know, other personal stuff that I need to take care of. So schedule's pretty tight. But yeah, so that's all I do want to learn in this world. So, you know, on to the next one. So, as you guys know, for this one, for this, for this title, for the second one, it's like what I want to give back to the community. Uh, I definitely do want to give back a lot of things to the community besides, you know, uh, helping people for charity, uh, you know, giving people advice so people the point says they, they look up to me, they're in line with what I have to say, the advice that I have to give them and all that stuff and hopefully more and more people will, you know, follow me, like, just like a fan base where, you know, people will just talk to me and say, oh hey, I, I need help with this, blah, 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 based on love relationships and do enjoy the stuff that I do in real life. And also in the community bases, well, sorry, gaming world as well, uh, in the gaming community, where it's like, oh, can I join you and blah, blah, blah. It's like, I wish I have more and more fans in this world that looked up to me. I mean, it's great that I have, you know, there's only 40 subscribers on my main channel, which is this channel, and then 74 on my gaming channel. And like I said before, I do want to bump up to 100 subscribers. That is my goal. It's something I want to do. That's a milestone for me. And once that's done, I can move on to say, oh, when 500 hits, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And then after that, 1,000 and so on and so on. But 100 subscribers is definitely my goal. And, you know, just to figure out what else can I do to push, my, push myself more further. And also when I hit 100 subscribers, that's when I say, oh, you know, I'm going to partnerize with YouTube, I'm going to partnerize with someone else, I don't know, like I said, I need to do research. Uh, I know, like, last week I wasn't able to upload any videos, it's just because, you know, like I said before, personal issues, which is a uh, family issue, so it's like, when that happens, if I don't upload anything daily, people would leave, people would be uninterested, it's like, you know, people are impatient. And the people that stays are, you know, the true fans. I don't want people to just stay to say, you know, I need to see a video now, or if you don't show me a video now, then I'm just gonna, you know, just leave. So it's like, people need to have patience in this world. It's like, if, if you don't see any videos that's uploaded on my channel, it could be a personal issue. There are many things that come to mind, but, you know, don't get discouraged, don't feel down, or, you know, feel upset, or put yourself up saying like, where are your videos? So, be patient. It will come. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it for what I want to, you know, give back to the community. So I have that's the stuff that I definitely need to say. Now on to the third one. So as you guys saw in the title, it was saying, you know, what do I want to be known as before I die? So I want to be known as. We all know that I'm a laid back type of guy, but I can come to the point like if you want to have a serious conversation, I can go there with you. I'm the type of guy where, you know, if I ask, if anyone asks me saying that, you know, I need something to talk to, I'm here. I have open arms, two ears, ready to listen to you guys, what you guys need to say. Um, but if it's something disrespectful, please don't waste my time with all that stuff because I don't have time to hear that. But on a serious note, if you're going to talk to me about what relationships, talk about your situation on life and all that stuff, I'm here to listen. 
but I can't guarantee you that you're gonna get an answer right away. The thing is that when I hear something, like any situation, there are times where I have to gather my thoughts and like, you know, figure out if this is the right thing to say. If it is, then great. It's like thinking, it's a 50-50 thing where you think it could be the right answer, but it's like, are you sure it's the right answer? But if you tell someone a wrong answer in your mind, saying like, this is the wrong answer, you shouldn't tell this person that, then that person is like, oh, okay, blah, blah. So it's like, when they look up to you and you give out the wrong answer, which you can say, and the next day it's like, it's gonna get worse and worse, and then you know, lose subscriber and all that stuff. But, like I said, a laid back type of guy, listening to your guys' thoughts, questions, and all that stuff. And I want people to look up to me, to the point it's like, you know, one day I'm going to follow your footsteps and, you know. But the thing is that, don't follow my footsteps to the point where you're just going to copy me as in like, do the same bad things that's, that I have done in the past. Um, follow my footsteps to the point where it's going to be something positive, something good. You know, uh, people say do something comedic. You guys should do the same. A lot of people always ask me, it's like, do something that's really funny. And I'm trying to do my best. And not just that, I'm trying to find people who want to join me. Like, for instance, playing Vance Warp. Well, just Call of Duty in general. You know, for our gaming channel, it's making people rage to the point where it's like, you know, you did your part and all that stuff. And for our main channel, it's just like, you know, I'm trying to gather some people to the point where, you know, giving advice on love relationships based on any scenario. So, I guess that's all I definitely need to say. With that being said, uh, like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. I only have 40 subscribers. Let's bump that up to 100. Um, I definitely need to, you know, post up more videos on my main channel because it's like I only have 40 but it's not going anywhere and I definitely want to push my main channel not just that both of my gaming channels to 100 that is something that I want to do I'm not saying like you know it's gonna be there right away because you have to work for it to make that happen right it's like it's like a job you have to in order to get that raise you have to do your part work really hard follow the rules and you know it will happen so until then See you guys later.